Hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome to uh, episode 117. Uh, even though all the social media posts say 116, it's not, it's 117. We're calling it Lost in Translation 1. Um, what we're going to be doing this evening is uh, we're going to be playing games, playing ostensibly Japanese games that have been translated into English. So we're either going to find lots of cool games or we're going to spend the next amount of time um, going, oh no, another Japanese role-playing game. Oh no. So it's going to be, uh, yeah, it's an experiment and we'll see what happens, shall we? Uh, <laughs> oh dear. I've picked games which... Looked, looked Japanesey from the title. I haven't looked at the boxes. Maybe I should have done that, but I didn't. Um, and if there were English titles, I've tried to make, I've tried to pick ones that possibly might not have been role-playing games. Anyway, <sighs> without any further messing around, let's get over to the little box. The arcade, and we'll um, we'll have a look at our first game, shall we? Yes, let's uh, boop across there now. Whoop. There we go. Um, so, first game is um, is going to be on the uh, Game Boy Advance, and it's called Zatch Bell Electric Arena Two. So. Let's get set up and go in and see um, see what we get. Oh, does that look? Like, oh, might have space to have a bit bigger in there, maybe. Oh no, I don't know. Let's do that anyway. Because it moves, doesn't it? Anyway, yeah. Dodge Bell, Electric Arena, two. So far, so good. Okay, if, uh, if it's too quiet for you, or too loud, then let us know. Okay, so it's got Japanese writing written over the top of... Right, okay, so that's not a problem then. Oh, we've got some mini-games too. Alright. So it's this kind of street fighter with pets. Then, oh, as soon as I looked away, me, me, whatever my little blonde thing is, looks looks like a girl, but he's fighting with the pets. So I don't know. Are now. I've got to jump. And also, I'm hitting, and when I'm hitting, I'm looking at the bloke, and it's often the little girl that's doing me. Oh no. Oh! Kinky unicorn. Rack 
Come on, mate. He's taking some beat in this one. And it's the first guy. It's always good to have a little girl uh, headbutting. He doesn't always punch, does he? We'll take it in turns. I do like that that attack. That's a good attack where she just grabs hold of that and just goes, oh, bats the shit out of him. More attention to fighting than looking at his book. I don't, I don't, I mean, honestly, I don't know how they, they work, but one assumes that, um, as you can see along the top, it says uh, the name of the, the game, and then it's got T English by Super Sonic English Dub. So, did they create all the audio we're hearing in English and then <coughs> insert it in? Don't know. I don't expect an answer. I was just a rhetorical question, I guess. Laura. Oh, he's got a big pet. Hey, Feels like one of the buttons. I've got jump. And I've got the punch. I don't seem to. Have... Oh, 
Oh, I defended it. I did defend that. Got it right in the face. Well, look, we've given it a few minutes. Um, we've got nine games to get through tonight, and and I'm drinking punch, so you know, the best motor through these. I'm still capable. Uh, so well, there you go, Zatch Bell. Oh yeah, Zatch Bell Electric Arena Two. Okay, we're moving to the NES now. Oh, it's telling you a whole story and I've not got your screen. You know we like a lot of story. Uh, let me grab you the screen for Armadillo. We like Armadillo. That's the only problem with not being able to start them all at the same time. There we go. Oh, no, that's moving it. That's not changing good size. There we go. There, so while I've been changing it, you've had a chance to read it all. So that's good. <sighs> no credit for who uh, who translated this one. Device not found. What device? Oh, not what I expected. Oh, what are we supposed to do? Not that. Oh, that was bad. To be killing a ball and kill one. Alright, what else? Do we have a different attack? move very fast when he's curled up. Oh, he didn't break things. Some things. Okay. I think we probably need to get up there, don't you?
must be walking through this. Oh, you can. Ah, oh, SpongeBob. Get past it. Oh, nightmare. They were dice then, I've got eight for some reason. Because oh, it's like it's all welly good, well, welly, welly good. It's all well and good having it translated into English. But sometimes the game mechanics are specifically. I mean, this isn't. This is a bad example, but it's. Um... <coughs> it's like that fighting game before. It was like, well, you know, what are we supposed to be doing? I know we're fighting, but is there something I'm missing because it's in Japanese? Oh, not in Japanese anymore, but you know what I mean. Oh, I pressed the wrong button! <sighs> Dagnabbit! Can I get... I can't get through here either, look. So, we're going to start it once more, and then we're done. down there. <coughs> Excuse me. I think be a way through, wouldn't you? through is up. Oh no 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 oh, I wish it No, 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 no. Right. right. That's as high as he's getting, isn't it? Oh, can't reach it. What's going on? Why can't I reach it? To these then.
Oh, it's all, all right. So cleared it. Probably didn't want to go down there. want to go back, but I can't, can I? Oh, I'm still being Mario. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. I keep falling for this every single time. Why? Why say continue when you actually mean start again? Why? Ooh. Okay. I don't, I don't want to start again. So we're not starting again. Um, that was Armadillo. On the NES. We're going to do another NES one now. We're going to do uh, a Konami um, classic? Question mark. This is uh, a Konami game called Burning Twinby The Rescue of Dr. Cinnamon. Um, uh, um, so So that's Dr. Cinnamon. So, have we got choices? Doesn't look like it. Okay, press the button. There might have been instructions, and I just pressed the button. Right, so we've got um, it's uh, Scramble. Sc Scramble ish type game. Fine, I can't mind. Oh, did oh, I could I did I? I want that then. It was a, a ship that looked like mine. Thank <laughs> you. 
Normally these games would have had a power up by now or something. Didn't realise there was things on the ground that I could pick up. Oh, I'm getting fun cramp. <laughs> wow. That's so cool. idea what that was. It looked like a dead bird. Good. Whoa. Am I even causing any damage? Oh, it's causing me damage though. Bugger! a bit quick then. Am 
I invincible? I think I might have been. Not now. Toss. Can't go behind it. Doesn't like. Oh no, I didn't want to start again. I think we've seen enough, don't you? Burning Twin B, the rescue of Dr. Cinnamon. Okay. It wasn't bad, it wasn't bad. Again, I don't think it needed to be translated. I don't think there was an awful lot of um, Japanese that would get in the way of the gameplay of that. All right. This one might, might end up being an RPG. But we're moving on to the Mega Drive. Yes. Let's get you a, a screen before we um, move on. Uh, so, this... <laughs> oh, come on. Is Magical Hat Turbo Flying Adventure. Go, hat, go. I know I should have looked at the options, shouldn't I? I know. Okay, so we've got an, uh, uh, oh, it, we, we're getting our RPG type stuff. So that's, that's that button. We've got a jump. Jump and a punch. should get across here really and 
perhaps come back back to that later. Oh no, it looks like we have to go back to it now, does it? We is there anything? And and no, no, we're gonna. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No! Wow! Whatever that bad guy was, I just jumped in with me. I don't have an egg now, do I? Oh. Don't get too eager with the punching! He gets a good um, lick of speed up, though. So we know we can go through there, Just, should we? Yeah, that's okay. No, 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 no! So do we have a floaty jump? Point of continue, unless we don't have to read that rubbish again. Oh, maybe it's that. Okay. So why is that why is that bouncing us in the air? Do we need to jump somewhere? Oh oh I've just lost my egg friend. Oh phew. Um right. I don't know if I, if I drop off that, whether I'm just going to die horribly. Oh, I'm just going to die horribly anyway. Stop it with that. It feels like I need to be on the same level as him before I punch it. No, 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 bollocks. Not the first time I've done that. I died then. Right. Find it out. Yep, you do die if you do a massive, massive jump off the end. I know you see, I thought we had options before. Every time. Feels like the buttons are the wrong way around or something.
so if we just drop off the end instead. No, 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 for frick's sake. We have to drop straight down. Oh, every time, stop it. Oh, now we've pissed away the rope bridge, haven't we? The bridge, bridgey bridge. If that red thing is, um, oh, only if that red thing is the, um, the what's it called? The, the word I can't think of, like a save point. I'm gonna have a look at the options. There's no easy, which is disappointing. far we can go. have changed since I messed around in the options so we have to just drop off drop off like don't float oh maybe it's not then, that's disappointing. We need to be higher up, don't we? <clears throat> oh, we can't get back either. That wasn't enough. Now I don't have an egg friend either. That's it, as last man if we don't do it with this. And when I say do it, I mean just get any further along. Now, I've been jumping on those birds and they've been killing them. Why? Why, why would that not kill it? Um, okay, look, that was Magical Hat Turbo Flying Adventure. It was um, very platformy, wasn't it? Some good animation. The other thing that I want to know is if you're watching this on YouTube and you're like, well, that's not Magical Hat Turbo Flying Adventure in the US. It was called this. Let me know in the comments. Um, I'm just be curious to to um, see. Basically, all I've done here is I've gone through my folder of translations 
and played them. I haven't looked to see if there's an English version or anything like that. So, it would be good to know. Uh, right, we're doing another Mega Drive game now. And... Um, mm, mm, mm. It's... Oh, I keep forgetting because we can't open them all at once now, all the windows. It's Vixen 357. Now, I do feel that we may have tried playing this in the past and um, stopped playing it because it was in Japanese. going to press a button to stop this now. right out Vixen. Do I need to press another button? Nope. It's not going to work. Wow. So if you press continue, I'm guessing you don't get all, all this. Oh no, it's a man without his spacesuit on. Probably another thing you should put in the comments. Do you want to see the story? Do you want to know? I'm a bit like, oh, get to the game already. But, you know, let me know if you, if you want me to keep this on. Because I, I press the button. Chatty chat. Right, so is this... This feels to me like a, a bit of an RTS type game. Uh, what key does what? some sort of position. Okay. Is there an end turn? Ta-da! them as well we seem to be 
they're all heading the wrong direction. They're not heading the direction I expected. I thought they were coming for us. enough chatting yes exactly so the pink ones are the bad guys I mean, where, where do we, how, how, where? We can't move very far, can we? little fellas and all I can do is move them that little amount too far away I can't shoot them So far, for for um, excitement and getting involved, it's involving the bad guys. Surely I should be moving the blue guys. if it's it to give us an idea of what the combat's going to be like. <laughs> Maybe. I'm 
guessing on roller skates by the way they move. Attack anything from there. I mean, I, I, I'm feeling that they're on our side, and I'm a bit nervous about shooting them. So I'm, I'm not going to attack just yet. Some shots in next turn. Ooh, whoopee. Is there a way of skipping this? Ooh. Get in there as fast as we can. I'll shoot something this time. So yeah, our oh, first attack, and we're I don't know how many minutes into the game. shoot that. Too far away to shoot anything. Disappointing. Thank you. 
Ditch that, Jimmy. Want some on. I think we should probably start with this one, don't you? blue guys should be able to take that guy with one strength left oh my god I'm just not sure okay. So I've moved my three fellas, haven't I? Stronger shooting a port melian. Come on! Come on! I should have been able to take that. Oh, 
I can't like shoot. Okay, I think I've done all three guys that I know, I think. So we're getting not rid of all the pink ones, but we're not getting any of the green ones. Come on, I could have, I should have taken it then. Shit. about that one. shoot him. Why not?
know it's going on a bit, but I think we've got so far in that we should at least finish this level, at least. Probably not the one we wanted to attack. fella attacking actually I can melee this guy you know, I came off worst when will I learn my lesson guys left to take him out. Guy's taking a pound in, isn't he? Do you reckon? Apparently so. Rah. Well, that was the first level. Gauges. <laughs> no more. We've got to get on. Uh, right, okay, so that was Vixen 357. Um, we're going to move on to the. What's the time? But well, we've still got a bit of time. We're going to move on to the, the SNES now with um, Brandish 2, The Planet Buster. 
and we're going to get a little bit more choosy if if we don't like it we're going to turn it off earlier um because like i say we've only got we've still got four more games left to do so um so let's get you a screen of brandish 2 There we go. Like I say, this is on the snares. Good, it's doing something. Bundivia. Story. Anchor in for some torturing. Okay. Honestly, not feeling it. It's an awful lot of text that I'm got. I'm having to uh, click through. Start button doesn't uh, help. We don't seem to have any sound either. We had it for the tune. Don't think we need to worry too much about it though, because uh, because it's uh, it's it's just a dungeon crawler, is it? Oh, I don't like the way it controls. Oh, now I'm confused. So when I press left to go left, it spins the map round. No. No. Brandish 2, the Planet Buster, is uh, departing. Hardly played. Hardly played at all. Um, we're going to move on to um, another one, which which could be very similar. Who knows? This is um, tell you what, as I tell you what it is, it'd be more efficient for me to get you the screen at the same time, mightn't it? Um, this is Captain Tsubasa Three. Captain Tsubasa Three. I'm a bit concerned that we've lost audio. Good. Oh no. and speed it up either or get rid of it let's see if it really is really is a football game and I don't know why I say that because it patently is a football game
we shall win, little knowing that I'm controlling them. So they've got no chance of winning. What the? I don't actually know what I'm doing. I'm not even controlling that. I mean, I suppose I'm supposed to be following the numbers, am I? Voluntarily play um, football games, sports games, sports. Oh. Uh, we're moving to our last two games now. Oh, oh, and we've played one of them before, but I can't remember if we played it in Japanese or not. Hmm. All right, we're going to risk it anyway. So we're moving to the Turbo Graphics uh, uh, console, um, and we're going to start with a game called Gikisha, Gikisha Boy, and I feel fairly certain it's called something similar. Thing, and you have to take pictures of things. Photograph a flying car. was awful, an awful round. Yeah, I think we'll try again. So we know where the flying car is now. So did I get the flying car or not? Don't, don't think I got enough points. Oh, I missed it. Missed it again. I missed it again. This is stupid. We're 
we'll get a non-flying car. That was even worse. I felt that when we played this last, we, we had a longer round for some reason. my finger on the wrong button. Yes. No more flying cars. Stupid game. I feel I've got to keep going until I get a picture of this freaking car. Did I get it? So, so yeah, it's to do with the camera film that you've got left and what you're taking pictures of, isn't it? Because we did last a bit longer that time. No good photos. And I didn't get the car. Well, F right off, Akusha boy. Um, we're going to end tonight with um, another Turbo Graphics 16. PC Engine, depending on what you And uh, this one's called Wonder Momo. Oh. It's all very Battle of the Planets, isn't it?
seinen Sohn benommen. I don't have an upwards attack. So I don't know how I'm going to get those things. I don't feel that... Uh, enamoured with it or I haven't bothered about seeing any more um, because we're done I think I think we're done we've covered all the games we've had a look at all the games we want to play it's in the playlist so we're going to say that's it for this episode um, we're gonna see if the wheel is still an outrageous size, as it was last week. Um, so I don't know why things change size. I never change any resolutions or anything on my screen. And yet, yeah, it's the right size this week. I, 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 just, I just don't know. Uh, so, did we remove Lost in Translation off the thing? I think we did, yes. Uh, so, shall we have a look and see what we're playing next week? I'm glad it went to Movie Tie-Ins 4 because I noticed that I hadn't removed Game Gears. Um, so, I think we might already be in a good place for... Oh no. We're not in a good place. We've we've played the ones in four. So it must be movie tie-ins five, which means I've still got a bunch of movie Oh I'm in a good place. I've got some. We've got some. Already sorted. So minimal work involved in um next week next week's show. And that's what we like to see. We're here to play games. Not work. Work. Ugh. Um, well, that's something to look forward to. More movie tie-ins next week, and then YouTube will will um, demonetize me for theme tunes and shit like that. I know. Uh, um, anyway, you can email us if you like. Snug, uh, it's not, it's snugradio.co.uk is the domain, but it's retro. Retro at snugradio.co.uk. Uh, like I say, snugradio.co.uk is the website. But we're also, well, if you're watching this on Twitch, live on a Monday night from 7 o'clock, you know we're on Twitch as Snug Radio. But if you're watching it on YouTube, then you also know that we're on YouTube as Snug Radio. Yes. And if you're watching it in anywhere, big thank you. Thank you. And if you like it, tell your friends. Or at least subscribe or write a nice comment. Or, you know, one of those things that they all all YouTubers tell you to do. I'm not here to tell you to do that. It'd just be nice if you did. That'd be great. Um, but we're also everywhere else as Snug Radio. Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. You find us everywhere on the internet as Snug Radio. We also have a Discord server if you want to join us over there. Um, there's stuff for all sorts. It's mostly um, for the Snug Radio podcast. 
but there is a section for retro uh, retro lounge in there um and happy to discuss things with you if you want to join us there uh okay so um what else is there um don't forget moderator extraordinaire has um a design shop called inky inspiration there'll be a link in the show notes and um she does all sorts of cool things um but there were some pop art dogs pop art characters uh, that she's designed and um, she's currently doing Taskmaster quotes so if you want to get your Taskmaster quote merch then Ink Inspiration is the place to go top notch stuff uh, I also have a design shop my design shop is called The Glorious Idiot and I uh, started off tiki based but it's retro styles Tiki's, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. You know, I'm a bit all over the shop, uh, but you can buy all the sorts of red bubble stuff uh, with my stuff on it, um, which would be nice. Uh, that's the glorious idiot at Red Bubble. As always, link in the show notes. And um, that is it for this translated episode of Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. I don't think there's anything else I need to tell you. So, we'll be back at the same time, same place next week. I've been Math. This has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Till next time, play something retro. Bye. Bye.